about the beating of a wife. And he quoted a hadith in, in, in the verse of the Quran, etc. Akhi, the general trend is that Allah ordered men to be kind to their wives. Allah says in the Quran, وَعَاشِرُوهُنَّ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ You have to live with them in what is normal, what is kind, what is well known to people to be accepted. You have a mother, you have a wife, you have a daughter, you have a sister, and you don't like people to deal with them harshly or in a violent way. So this is the general trend. However, what goes behind closed doors is something that only the man and his wife are capable of handling. There should be no outside interference because whenever there is interference from the families, things go south. Also, the Prophet ﷺ told the companions that a lot of women visited my wives and complained to them of their husbands beating them. By Allah, they are not from among the best of you. Meaning these men who beat their wives are not among the righteous, the, 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 the pious, those who are God-fearing. And this is a strong warning from the Prophet Now, when we judge things, we don't, don't, as Muslims, refer to the United Nations. We don't refer to the Geneva Convention. We don't refer to man-made laws made by the disbelievers and the kafirs. We refer to the Quran and the Sunnah. So if you go to verse 34, chapter 4, I'm giving you the reference. Those whom you fear their disobedience, their rebellion, what to do with them, the women, then you should advise them. You should give them counseling. You should remind them of Allah, of how bad this is, how sinful it is, and that they are doing something that Allah does not love. If this doesn't work, then you have to abandon them, but this is only regards of intimacy. So you sleep with her on the same bed, but you don't have any intimacy. You don't hug her, you don't kiss her, you don't have any hanky-panky. And this goes on like the issue of advising her for a while, not for a day or two or for a moment or two, maybe for a couple of weeks, three weeks of advising, didn't work, then abandon being intimate with her for three, four weeks. This doesn't work. Then the last and third and final resort is to beat them. So the, Allah doesn't say bring a, a, ba a baseball bat to beat them up with it. Ibn Abbas, when he, who is one of the great interpreters of the Quran, was asked how to beat them, he said, with this. You see this, this twig? If I beat myself with it, I'm not gonna be affected. He said, you beat them without breaking a bone, shedding blood, leaving a mark, and avoid the face. What kind of beating is this, my friend? Well, this kind of beating is not meant to be physical. It is meant to be sentimental, something that would hurt her to open her eyes, to see how disobedient she is and how bad as a wife she is. After all the love, my husband is beating me with a twig. So this kind of beating is a form of reprimand, not uh, slapping her on the face, not slapping on the shoulder and leaving marks of your fingers on. This is not permissible. It should not leave a mark on the body. It should not shed blood. It's only to reprimand. And this is for the purpose of getting things back to normal rather than divorce. And Allah Azza wa Jal uh, knows best.